Hello, I'm Kurt and this is Simple Shop Creations. In part two of this video, we're going to go and design this table using SketchUp for the web. In part one, I went through the steps on how to design this table, so you can go ahead and review that. There will be a link in the description below. Also, there will be a link in the description below on how I use pallet wood to build this table. In the description below, there will be chapters so you can skip around the video. Now, as you can see here, I do have another item here, and this is the underneath of this tabletop because when I was designing this tabletop on the SketchUp, I did not suggest where to put pocket holes. So here is my suggestion for po putting pocket holes uh, to hold this tabletop together. As always, I'm using a Windows PC. Therefore, all my shortcut keys are based on the Windows PC. Again, we will be going through some of these menu items, components, the display. We're going to be using the fill tool again. And as using this menu, such as the line tool, the rectangle tool, the rotate tool, the push pull tool, the move tool, the tape measure tool for guidelines, and the pan and orbit tool. So with that, let's get on to the process of designing this table now. So let's go ahead and create the second table top and we'll show you how that is done. So first step is we're going to make believe we're using a piece of tile and then we're going to wrap that tile around with an edging. So let's go ahead and see how that's done. First thing is we're going to create a rectangle. Select the letter R. We're going to create a square actually 12 inches by 12 inches. Hit enter. Space bar. This rotates a little bit. Bring it in a little closer and now we have it here. So now we're going to make this a tile. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hit the B key. Gives us the fill. I'm going to select the browse button, scroll down, and you see we have the tile here. Select this one here for its and giggles. Put it there. Space bar. Let's remove this. Click it. Select P, pull up, and we're going to make it a quarter of an inch thick. Space bar, done. Now we have our simulated tile. Next, I want to um, build some supports that go in the middle of this tile here. Two supports, and we're going to want to place them in the middle so this can rest on top of it. So basically what we're doing here, we're working at on the bottom of the tile up. So the top is facing down. So the first step here is we're going to create some guidelines. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to double click. It gives us the guideline. I'm going to hit the space bar. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. You can see it turned blue. Type M. Click it again. Move it. Hit the control key. Snaps it back. And stay on this plane. Move it over. See, stay on the green. Click once, enter, slash, three, enter. Now we have evenly spaced lines. Now we're going to go ahead and draw our rectangle, our supports here, which are going to be a rectangle. And they're going to overhang about a sixteenth of an inch on each side. So we know that the tile is 12 by 12. So we can create two supports that are going to be three inches wide by 12 and an eighth inches long by three quarters of an inch thick, which will give us a total thickness of one inch. So let's go ahead and do that. Select R, let's draw our tile. And we see the first dimension is the width, three comma 12.125, boom. Select P, push pull or push pull. 0.75 enter space double click triple click component we'll call it tile support enter now let's hit Q because we're going to turn it on the blue click once click again Oop. type 90 we have it unclick and now we want to do is we want to rest that on top 
So we will need to select M, grab that center, interesting, M, grab the center, I see we can just snap it to the line, there we go, looks like it snapped, yep, it snapped, let's, let's select M here, we're going to select the center again, if we can find it, bring it, control, slide it, snap, space bar, and now we have them resting on the top of the tile. However, H to bring it down, H to move it here. However, we are a full one eighth inch overhanged on one side. So we want to bring this back that way, 16th of an inch. Highlight, control key, highlight the second one. M, let's grab the center, move it a little bit, type in one slash 16, enter, space bar, click. And we can see it's overhang there. Let's go here. And we see it's overhang there. Highlight these lines. Let's go this way. Almost all. Hit delete. And let's try it again. Delete. And delete. Or we could have went into here and select delete guidelines. Move over. Now let's make this a component. Click. Hold the control key, key click, and click. Select G. And we're going to call this tile inner. Yeah, that's okay for now. So now we have it. Next, we're going to create a border around here. And the border is going to be three inches long, I mean wide. And then we need to add the three inches to this side and three inches to this side, plus an eighth of an inch because we're going to have a gap all the way around. So that will give us the long side will be 18 inches by one and an eighth inches by three inches by one inch. So let's go ahead and draw that. Right, we're going to hit R, select, look down there to the bottom right. So we see the width is the first dimension, 3, comma, 18.125. Enter, P, select, push, pull. Now this is going to be a full inch. 1, enter, space, done. Triple click, G, and we'll make this long, long side. Okay. Now we have it here. Now we got to line this up to the center of this. And we're going to do that by creating a center thing here. So space bar, I'm going to do the line. I'm going to click here, to here, escape key. Now I'm going to find the center. I'm going to click. Now I'm going to press the up arrow key so I can go up, click, space bar, and now I have my center point there. I'm going to click this, delete. I'm going to click this, delete. And now we have in free space, free space our center point. I'm just going to go ahead and click this, select M. I'm going to drag this more over here. Uh, looks good. Now we're going to go ahead and select M again. We're going to find the center point, which is right there, where that red tick is. And there we have it. And we're going to line up to that space bar, free space, and let's see what we have here. And it looks like it lined up very good. Highlight this, delete, and let's go around to the other side. Zoom in. I'm going to do the same thing again. Practice makes perfect. Here, to here, and let's find our escape key center point right there. Up arrow key, bring it up. That's good. Space bar. Select that. Delete. Select that. Oop. Space bar. Free space, I mean. Select that. Delete. Let's scroll out a little bit. Let's do this a little bit here. Now, I'm going to copy this. So we can select it. I'm going to hit M, but I'm going to select this side. I'm going to go to the midpoint. 
and we're going to drag it here, control key, and let's bring it up and snap it there. Looks good. Space bar, free space, and that looks like it's on, spot on. Okay, we're going to highlight this, delete, zoom out, rotate, and now we're going to build our other one here. Select R, go over here, bring it down, go over here, snap it, nope, a barrel key, snap it once, go down to the bottom, we see the first dimension exactly what we want, which is going to be a length, so we're going to retype it in, 12, point one two five comma and now we only want a three inches three space select p for push pull highlight bring up type in one enter space bar free space triple click g and we're going to call it short side and hit enter i'm going to wrap around here select m I want this here. I'm going to select the corner here and drag it. Control key and snap to this face. And there we have our second table completed. Next, we are going to triple click. Actually, we're not going to triple click. We're going to zoom out a little more and we're going to highlight this whole bloody thing and select G. And then we're going to do table top dash two enter again we want to center this in the center of this origin and we're going to do it the same way we did it last time so here we go i'm going to get myself the line tool find the center here which is right there scroll it down click here and then now i'm going to find the escape key let's find the center here which we know Click once, hit the up arrow key, bring it up, done, space bar. So now we have our center. We're going to select the tabletop. Do not select the lines. Select them. Let's get that there in the end point. Looks good. Move it, and we're going to do open bracket, zero, comma, zero, comma, zero. Close the bracket, hit enter, space bar, free space, and now we have it in the center. We have a below the axis. Let's go ahead and select this, select that, and let's be careful selecting that. And now we hit the delete key, and now we're good. So now we have it. Let's just orientate this here a little better. Go to H, the pan away. Let's go to our components. I'm going to go ahead and hit the space bar to get the select tool. Go to our components, and let's find our tabletop, which is right there. Bring it over. All right, we'll just bring it here. Space bar, free space. We'll close it. Orientated it okay. Select the whole bloody thing. L for line tool. Bring this in. We'll bring it all the way over. Select. Click. Escape key. Find the center point. Up arrow key. Click up and click again. Space bar. M to move right there move it open bracket zero comma zero comma close bracket put it on there space bar free space organize this better and now let's put in our blocks our connector blocks here and here so let's go ahead and Space bar, grab our components. Let's look for our connector block, which is this tile support. Short side slate. And it, I got ah, here it is. Corner block, boom. We have it here. Now that table is done. We're going to hook the control key. We're going to click here, click here, click here, click here, scroll around, click here, scroll around. 
click here, click here, flip along the blue G, type in table dash two, and hit OK. So now, oh, guess what? We lost the block. Do we really care? Now we'll just delete that one. We forgot to highlight a block. So somewhere down there is a missing, yeah, we're missing one over there. No biggie. We can correct that whenever we want. So now here we have two tables. Let's just um, move these into better position. And then zoom in on them. Okay. H. Spacebar. Collect. M. Let's move it here. So now you can see we have two tables here. You can see the different frames, I mean aprons, by just spinning around. And you can see how they look before you actually build it. You get a general idea of how it looks like. Now, there you go. There we have it. We have two tables with two different tops using the same leg configuration. So with that, have yourself a happy and healthy day.